Morning guys. I know it's been a while. I'll put my sunglasses on here because it's ridiculously bright out. Um, yeah, it's been a what a at least a week since we've had a, a able build update video. Uh, haven't been doing much. Got the paint done on it. Did some touch-ups on the wheels with the brush been running great did one little thing on Friday see this got it painted this morning see this little cubby I made a little cubby inside the shelter here I'll show you made like a little cubby shelf we might put like a little net around it like this just to hold some stuff and to clean up that area a bit still got one more left to clean up of course we got the exhaust fans on this one and the air conditioner on the other one I haven't quite figured out what I'm gonna do there yet um, eventually gonna have an on-demand water heater like right there propane one Keeping everything simple. Maybe I'll vent it through that plate. Anyhow, um, so today I got a start of a project and I'll show you guys. We want to put a um, shower in this corner. So I got some items off Facebook Marketplace and Amazon. I'll show you here and then we'll get started. Okay. So, I got this Utila tub off of Facebook Marketplace for five bucks. Some guy had it on there for a long time, just wanted to get rid of it, was going to take it to a dump. So, for five bucks, came with the sink faucet and a quick disconnect for a hose. I actually had all these parts laying around from a sink install we did here at the house. And I ordered this track kit for a curtain. It mounts to the ceiling off of Amazon. It was like 20 bucks. And then I got a, a drain for this sink off of Amazon for like 10. But anyhow, um, you can see it's, it's got the sink fittings and everything still on it. And what the idea is, is gonna be to put this in the corner and then I got to go take some measurements and cut a hole for the drain. And hopefully the drain, it works out to where it comes out in a reasonable spot and I'm not cutting through the frame or anything. That's what I'm hoping for, but we'll see what happens. The other idea that I've been pondering here for a while, because I have some scrap metal laying around and I've got these fuel jugs. I know we got 58 gallons on board, but just for fun, look at this. It, it fits in there, and it does it on both sides. So, there's got to be a way to, uh, well obviously I've got the steel, and I can weld a cage in there for these fuel drugs, but you know, you could carry, in theory, you could carry four extra fuel jugs with whatever you want in them I mean these containers are good for water diesel gasoline you name it you could put it in there but maybe extend this out come down basically build a pocket for these fuel jugs so that's kind of an idea that I've got in mind um, the paint is holding up phenomenally well uh, we went out yesterday and I got home and pressure washed everything all of the overspray is off of the uh, tire rubber because of the endurance trick that I showed in the last video. If you haven't seen that, check it out. But yeah, this is turning out really good. The other idea I had is inside here on the communication shelter. This might have wet paint on it still. I did some touch-ups today with the roller. Um, this panel right here. Behind here on the inside of the shelter, it used to be for uh, electrical. And I would like to take 
a exterior shower box and mount it right here. That way on uh, hot days that we're up camping, we can shower outdoors and we don't have to shower inside the shelter. And then in the winter, we can shower inside the shelter. So that's another idea I had. That'll be coming up in a uh, future episode. For now, we're gonna work on this, uh, getting this drain drilled in and this uh, shower curtain rod hung up. So let's get started on that. All right guys, this drilling this hole was a lot less eventful than I expected. But here's something neat to look at. The layers of the communication shelter. So it looks like this, let's make a point here. This first layer was a thin sheet of aluminum for the flooring, which was covered in like rubber. And then it looks like there's a 3 8 piece of plywood. And then the rest of it is insulation until the bottom aluminum. And then if you get way down there, that's the bed of the truck. And then right below that is a steel framing member underneath the truck. I'm going to go outside here and show you guys. But it's pretty interesting all the layers that you have to go through to get uh, a drain line out of the comm shelter. I don't know if it's pure luck or anything but lined up exactly with that hole that was already existing in the framing member which is I believe it's unbelievable luck but anyhow I should be able to get a drain line through there and then connect that to uh, a p-trap or a flexible drain hose or whatever we need to do to get that to a gray water tank uh, it's just gonna be rinse water we don't have a toilet in here or anything so there's no black water but yeah, that was a lot easier than I thought. All right, guys, we got the sink in. It's just temp temporarily installed, so I can pick it up and move it if I need to. But once we get all the plumbing done, I'll be able to uh, sicaflex that uh, bead around the edge here, so the water uh, drains more thoroughly into the sink. All right, I got the shower ring up for the curtain. Got a curtain right there. We just got to figure out, I, I'm going to go to Home Depot and try and find some little rings or something to go on these because shower curtain hooks are going to drop it down to here which kind of defeats the purpose but uh, I'll go and see what I can come up with. Maybe I'll test fit the curtain and see if shower curtain hooks will work but that's probably going to be it for today since I got to go run some errands so I'll catch you guys next time. See you later. Bye bye. All right, guys, I decided I want to show you a little bit more. I went to the store and picked up uh, just some 97 cent shower hooks and I'll show you how it works here. Open that up, spin that around, and then keep the bottom of it in the sink just like that. And it's more than enough for a camping shower. I think it's uh, pretty substantial, so. That worked out really good. I'm pleased with how that turned out. Those hooks, by the way, were a dollar and 97 cents. So, and they're made out of stainless, which is kind of unbelievable. But I bought a second pack of them in case they break or whatever. I also have a bunch of spare uh, rollers that came with it. There's probably about another, I don't know, 15 of them in the pack. So, that was $20 were well worth it. So, for less than 30 bucks, Got a setup here for a shower inside the uh, comm box. Um, I think the most expensive part of getting water in here is going to be the 42 gallon container. I found a cube that actually fits the dimensions of the undercarriage just perfectly where it's hidden up inside the channel. And if you wanted to do two of them you easily could. There's plenty of room underneath there so essentially you could have 84 gallons of water with you which would be great for maybe like Burning Man or whatnot. With the 30 gallon barrel that we have mounted underneath here we've gone on five camping trips and we've both taken showers a couple of times each time with it and it just ran out uh, yesterday when we went camping so for 30 gallons for two people it's lasted quite a while and the only thing we've used it for is to wash our hands and take a shower so that kind of gives you an idea there's one more thing I wanted to show you guys 
I wanted to show this to you guys. This is for um, all of my followers that are disabled veterans. And if you live in the state of Oregon or even any other state, um, I urge you to look for this. It's kind of hidden. Most people don't know about it, but uh, for the state of Oregon, if you're a disabled veteran, uh, that's anywhere from 0% all the way to 100%. You can apply for a Oregon State Parks Special Access Pass, which allows you to stay at RV sites for 10 days out of 30 per month at no cost to you. Um, it's pretty awesome. There's a few guidelines. I mean, you can read through them here if you want to pause it. I'll uh, keep the camera centered here for a moment. But um, I urge you guys to do this. I didn't even know about this, and somebody else told me about it. So there are a few stipulations. You got to send in a form that uh, from the VA that shows your disability rating. It doesn't have to say what it's for. It just has to say that you are, in fact, a disabled veteran. Um, I actually mailed this in on Monday and I uh, got it yesterday in the mail on Saturday. So it says three to six weeks processing, but they got it to me right away. So anyways, I thought I'd share this with you guys. This also uh, works well for um, day use areas and whatnot. Um, they know about it at these uh, parks that we go to. So anyhow, it helps us out a little bit, but we don't normally stay at RV sites, which would be really helpful if you wanted to plug into uh, shore power. Um, that would be great and uh, access to water and facilities and whatnot, but Other than that, uh, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. I hope you guys got something out of this episode If you liked it, please hit like subscribe share it with your friends share it on your Facebook page spread it around social media I'll uh, try to upload some more videos here the LMTV build um, some of the bigger things are coming up the more expensive things uh, I don't know if I'm going to get to all of them. I know I got to get solar done, uh, getting the water hooked up and the water heater and all that stuff ran will be <coughs> costly. Um, there's kind of no way around that. But other than that, I um, hope to catch you guys next time. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.